Hello, my name is Devin Tolley, and welcome to my tutorial about Kaku. It is a website used for concept mapping, and it's great for students to use for collaboration on ideas and things like that. So, today we'll be making a concept map, a concept map of English literature and its components. It's two genres of fiction and nonfiction and then we're going to subdivide into those fictions and get into a little more detail about that. So this is your home screen of, Kitu of Kaku. And to start your, your diagram, you want to go to Create New Diagram here, and you're going to want to click that. <clears throat> Let Kaku load up for a little bit. So when you get to Kaku, the, the home page, or the page after the home page. This is what's going to pop up and you're going to have a bunch of templates to choose from. You can do the basic organizational chart which will be good for this or even this basic organizational chart would be would work well too but I'm just going to go ahead and do the blank template so I can show you the pretty much the features that you can use without the templates. So blank template is what I'm going to select and here is your template and you're going to have a lot of liberty to a lot of creative liberty to just pretty much do whatever you want with this. Um, down here we got the chat feature and you can go ahead and you can share friends, share email addresses and then you can get other inputs from people based on the chat so you know you can get someone saying saying hey you're doing great. So there's a little bit of the chat feature and I don't have anyone to chat with so no one's going to say anything back but <clears throat> you can chat with other people on this site so keep that in mind so I'm going to start out here with the round square to get this concept map going this is this is what I added you just drag it onto the screen it's really easy and then this is the new text button so you want to click this and add a little text in here so this is going to be the top of my concept map so I'm just going to name it English literature easy right and you can also change colors if you want let's make this what red and I'm gonna go to the other side of my concept map now and I'm gonna go with another round square I'm gonna put it over here make it a little bigger add a little text and this is going to be my fiction side of my concept map. And on this side, the other side, I'm going to have my my non-fiction. Exactly. Pretty easy. <clears throat> now this button here is what makes these boxes connect. So I'm going to make these a little thicker so you can see them better. Make it round corner auto so that way it can just automatically just go to it once I click and drag so we're gonna have this go into here click and drag and then drop it on a little dot here and you get a line click and drag from here Oops. click and drag from here and get this line so now we got a fiction side and a non-fiction side to our concept map. They both all end up in the category of English literature. So next, just click away from everything just to get everything else pop back up. We're going to add some components. So let's do a circle. Put it on the fiction side, make it a little bigger. And to cut down on the process of putting a new circle out there every single time, Instead, I'm just going to use Command C to copy it, and then I'm going to use Command V to paste it. So one, two. I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, sub genres to go under fiction. So I'm going to have seven circles. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Put these under. Start organizing it, make it look neat and nice and neat. That's always nice.
All right. And hey, let's add a little cut of color to these, huh? Let's say turquoise. And this one, let's say orange. Now I'm going to do this real quick. This is what you should do usually. I'm going to make all these connect going down the line because they all end up in fiction as one big line. So we got that. This line will connect to this line. This line will connect to this line. This one to this one. This one to this one. This line to this line. And this line to this line. So, <clears throat> really easy, right? Let's add a little text and get these genres going. So, in fiction, we have the action genre. And in fiction, we also have a comedy. Comedy genre. And hey, I know a movie out of these guys. So I'm just going to go ahead and connect them now. <clears throat> oh, wait. First, I have to add another block here, another circle, so I can type in what you guys are going to be doing creatively and making up your own ideas of movies or books or stories or pretty much anything you've heard and try and connect two different ideas. So I have action and comedy here. Um, a action comedy movie, one of my favorites is a Pineapple Express. And why is that movie action comedy? It's because it is a comedy movie about two friends who go on an adventure and they encounter a number of problems to overcome. So there's a lot of action, gunfights and stuff like that in it. So that's why it is considered an action movie or an action comedy movie. So let's link these ideas together. Go here, and let's go here. And there we go. Now we have an action comedy movie of Pineapple Express. Another genre could be sci-fi. Another genre could be horror. And off the top of the head, I can think of another really interesting movie that is both sci-fi and horror um, pretty popular I don't know if the younger generation might know about it but <clears throat> a lot of people I know do and this movie is called Jaws so Jaws is a horror film about a gigantic great white shark that terrorizes the civilians and it's on a little beach, and it seems almost impossible, which is why it's considered sci-fi. And if you've seen the movie, you know how big the shark is, and you know <laughs> that it is kind of out of this world. So let's add a few more genres. We have adventure. We have romance. And we have drama. So here are non -fiction, or our fiction genres. We have action, comedy, sci-fi, horror, adventure, romance, and drama. Now let's add a little movie about hmm, romance and drama. Now this is going to be a movie that is another one of my favorite movies. It's <clears throat> with Tom Hanks, great actor, and it's called Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump is a movie, is a romance movie about a lovable character that has a dramatic roller coaster of events with his beloved partner. So we're going to connect these ideas, romance and drama, and that's Forrest Gump for you. So we have three movies here <clears throat> on the fiction side that can all pertain to some sub-genres here. We've got the action comedy of Pineapple Express, sci-fi horror with Jaws, and a romance drama with Forrest Gump. So it's important to understand that stories can't just be limited to one genre at all times. Sometimes they can, but not all the time. It'll be limited to one genre. <clears throat> so we're moving right along here on this concept map, aren't we? 
So let's go to this side of the map, the nonfiction side of the map. Let's add a, co a column shape, a little cylinder shape. And we're going to add the historical nonfiction to the side of the concept map. Link these ideas together. Because, hey, that's nonfiction. And we're going to add one more. And it is going to be called the documentary side. Documentary subgenre, I should say, of nonfiction. And we're going to link these together too. Pretty simple. Now, I want you guys to be creative with this idea of coming up with movies or a book or story. Really, really be creative and try and get more than one uh, a genre into that, into your story and what you think belongs there. So now, let's think of another one here. The historical side, we have pretty simple, how about just your... Oops. Just your your history textbooks. It's nonfiction because it's true, and it's pretty easy idea to think that hopefully your history textbooks aren't lying to you. So that's how you know it's nonfiction. While a documentary would be something along the lines of. Truman Capote's In Cold Blood, which some of you might have read. Let's link these and add In Cold Blood because it's about a story. It's a story about a guy who actually existed and the events actually happened. So it's not fiction because it's true. <clears throat> And here you have it, and this is your concept map. This is mine, so I want you guys to create your own concept maps and try and link these ideas together to get to get a feel for this map, to get a feel for this program and both the genres and subgenres of the English literature. Now, I want you to make sure you be creative with it. I left a lot of these white, but I like just keep them colored and just be as creative as you can with it. And I look forward to seeing it. So, thanks for listening.